take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. A healthy adult can donate blood without any risk. The body is able to compensate lost blood in 24 hours, but red blood cells take few weeks. A person can donate once every three months, but not more than five times in a year. People with health problems will have to refrain from donating blood. Point four March 2018. Take our lead. There is no upper age limit for blood donation as long as you are well with no restrictions or limitations to your activities. Those younger than age 17 are almost always legal minors, not yet of the age of majority, who cannot give consent by themselves to donate blood. Let's help you make your mark. Whole blood. Types O negative and O positive are best suited to donate red blood cells. Platelets. A platelet donation may be a great option for any blood type, depending on the current blood supply and your unique body composition. Plasma. Pist AB blood types, you're the VIPs of this world. Let's help you make your mark. The minimum interval between two donations is 12 weeks, 3 months. This interval allows our body val allows our body to restore at iron stock. Platelet apheresis donors may donate more frequently than as often as once every 2 weeks and up to 24 times per year. Take our lead. There was no evidence that frequent donations caused major adverse effects, such as draining donors' physical energy, dimming their mental sharpness or harming their general quality of life. Frequent, in this trial, meant every 8 weeks for men and every 12 weeks for women, over 2 years. 21 September 2017. Let's help you make your mark. Side effects of donating blood Blood donation is safe for healthy adults. There's no risk of contracting disease. New, sterile equipment is used for each donor. Some people may feel nauseous, lightheaded, or dizzy after donating blood. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.